the math guy, Steve. Let's try solving this equation. All right, to solve this equation, we first need to isolate the radical. That's already done. So then we would square both sides. Square both sides gets rid of the radical. So here we get, okay, x squared equals, square the right-hand side, 40 minus 3x. And now we get 0 on one side, factor the other side. Set each factor equal to 0. So, so here that would give us x squared plus 3x minus 40 equals 0. Uh, now we factor left-hand side since it's uh, three terms and there's a one in front. We go double, double, okay, x and x. Now, when he knows that multiply give me negative 40, combine to give me 3. So, say uh, 8 and 5, maybe a positive 8 and a negative 5. Okay. So, we got 0 on one side, factor the other side, set each factor equal to 0. So, x plus 8 equals 0, and x minus 5 equals 0. So, x equals negative 8, and x equals 5. And that's my two solutions to this equation. Ah! Don't forget, it's a radical equation, so we must check these uh, solutions, plug them back in, see if we get a true statement. Okay? Let's check it. So we plug in negative 8, we get okay. So negative 8, is that equal to the square root of 40 minus 3 times negative 8? Is this true? Okay, negative 8, is that equal to the square root of 64? Again, this square root is a principal square root, okay? Meaning there's nothing in front of it, so it's the positive version. So is negative 8 equal to positive 8? Is the principal square root of 64? This is not true, no. And so negative 8 is not a solution, okay? Let's check 5. All right, so we plug in 5, we get 5. Is that equal to the square root of 40 minus 3 times 5? Is this true? Okay, that's 25. So 5, is that equal to the square root of 25? Again, this is the principal square root of 25. So yeah, 5 equals 5. So 5 would be the only solution to this equation. Always remember, math is everywhere.